Now, if we think about it, we're not born as friends of God because we're born as sinful offspring of Adam. Actually, if you think about it, we're born as enemies of God. Sometimes you'll hear people say of a little baby, look at that little angel. But more accurate would be to say, look at that little enemy of God. What are you talking about? Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Tyler, and this is Jehovah's Truth. Uh, today, I wanted to talk about a uh, a Watchtower article that I stumbled across recently. And um, here, let me show you how I found it. So, one day, re yeah, recently, I was working... And when I was working, I usually listened to a lot of apostate um, videos that expose Watchtower, okay? And this one happened to cross my feed. This one's called, let me see if I can find it. All right, oops, let's go back. It's called Jehovah's Witnesses. This is from the channel called Deconstructing Jehovah's Witnesses Brainwashing. And the video that he posts up here is called Jehovah's Witnesses Normalized Sexual Assault. And I had a good listen to that, and I was shocked, okay? I was really shocked, but I wanted to really bring out one point to you guys and how much it disturbed me, all right? Now, I must warn you that this subject is going to be very, probably very uncomfortable for most but uh, just bear with me, please. And also, like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy this video's content. Even if you don't, it really helps the channel, and it really spreads the education that I feel I feel that a lot of people need to know about Jehovah's Witnesses, because it, it's not all black and white with them. It, there's a lot of secret, dark teachings that they have, things that they do, subliminal messaging. Maybe I said that right. Oh, wrong, sorry. But, uh... Yeah, anyway, let's get into this. Now, in order to find this, you have to go to JW.org, all right? And once you get there, take your uh, scroll bar, move it all the way down, all the way down, till you get to Watchtower Online Library. That's what you need. This is the only place you're going to find it. Click on that. <clears throat> go to Publications. Watchtower. And then we're going to go down to 1973. Watchtower of 1973. For the date, we're going to go to September 15th. I believe that's correct. All right. Okay. Okay. Breaking free from self-abuse, why and how. Okay, this, this article, this article, I must say sadly, is talking about masturbation it is and I'll prove it to you uh, first of all very first word masturbation all all in bold letters but we're gonna go down here a little more um, okay. what are the what are what are the habits ba uh, effects okay um, let me see Okay, this, that, first of all, this sentence got me. It's talking about masturbation. It says, um, I'm going to read a few sentences under what are the habits, bad effects. In the 19th century, and until relatively recently, it was thought that masturbation would ruin one's physical health, causing such things as pasty complexion, exhaustion, insomnia, tuberculosis, uh, sterility, feeble-mindedness and uh, deformity of the genitals and other physical harm. However, today it is well established that masturbation does not cause these things. Only in extreme cases where males masturbate excessively are they infertile or have semen of poor quality. Uh, one authority sums up the uh, medical opinion saying there is no scientific evidence that masturbation is biologically harmful. First of all, in the sentence here only, let me see if I can highlight it. 
only in extreme cases where ma- males masturbate excessively are they infertile or have semen of poor quality. All right, I'm not going to go into too much detail with this, but that sentence right there is not true. That is not true. I know this. I'm not going to tell you how I know. It's just, that's not true. That is not true. Don't believe that sentence. Anyways, let's scroll down here a little more. Okay. All right. This is where it gets bad. Prevention and cure. Prevention and cure. I believe that's it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, guys, when I read this to you, I'm going to have to read it a couple times because I feel that uh, some or maybe... Uh, at first, myself may have not understood this right away, but let's let's go right into it, okay? Prevention and cure. If one understands the cause, it is easier to implement the prevention and cure of a bad habit. Did you know, for example, that mothers and fathers who stroke the genitals of their fretful babies to keep them quiet are unwittingly encouraging them to become masturbators later on. I'm going to continue. Uh, uh, Boys and girls may not start to play with their private parts during puberty, and not receiving any counsel may start to play against this. The first thing they know, they are hooked on the habit. And if some some know nothing about such self-abuse... Before entering high school, the chances are that they will learn of it from their fellow students or their t- the teachers themselves. All right, we're going to go back up to the second sentence. Did you know, for example, that mothers and fathers who... Uh, oops. Sorry. Mothers and fathers who stroke the genitals of their fretful babies to keep them quiet or unwittingly encouraging them to become masturbators later on. That is absolutely one of the most disgusting things I have ever read in the Watchtower. Ever. I have never seen this Watchtower until recently, and I was appalled. What? My, my, my question. I have a few questions about this, okay? I have a few questions. All right. What kind of mother or father would do that to their child in order to keep them quiet? That's my first question. And my second question is, um, isn't that sort of act on a child called pedophilia? And uh, another question is, shouldn't that mother or father be sent to jail for doing such a thing? They should be, or prison at least. And uh, my last question is, It says here that mothers and fathers who stroke the genitals of their fretful babies to keep them quiet are unwilling, unwittingly encouraging them to become masturbators later on. Uh, why did why did Watchtower not put in here that that is a sin that is a terrible act? It's sinful, and that the mothers and fathers who do this should be tried in a, a court of law and be punished severely for it. Because that's that's child abuse. I, 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 I don't know of any parent, personally, that would do something like this to their kids. I don't. I would never even think of that. And I, I'll be honest with you. I hope my parents never did that to me because I, I'd, I'd be very upset. I'd be very, very, very upset. Why, why, why is this in here? Any Jehovah's Witness, please tell me, why is this in here? Why is this in here? And I'll be honest with you. Uh, Deconstructing Watchtower made a good point. Okay? Made a very, very good point. I'm going to read this sentence again, okay? Because it's, it's here. It is here. It's right here in print. Did you know, for example... That mothers and fathers who stroke the genitals of their fretful babies to keep them quiet are unwittingly encouraging them to become masturbators later on. So here's here's the point that Deconstructing Watchtower made, and I agree. Any Jehovah's Witness that read this Watchtower during this time and are still in the organization should be ashamed of themselves. 
this is this is disgusting. This entire this entire article, break free from self abuse and why and how, is by far one of the most disgusting things I have ever read in my life. Really, it is. <sighs> come on, come on, prevention and cure. Yeah, and it's all because of this. I mean, the whole thing, but this really did it for me. I've, like I said, I've never known any mother or father that would do that to their child. And I, the thumbnail in this video is Chris Hansen and uh, Stephen Blitt. I honestly wish Dateline, Dateline would get on this because I, I swear Watchtower damns themselves by putting these things in their literature, in their publications, and feeding it to their lost sheep. Gross. And I would have to say that I found this. I found I found this information by listening to an apostate YouTube channel. And the, the issue that I'm having within myself here is that I know that some some Jehovah's Witnesses or maybe even non Jehovah's Witnesses will say to me, you know, Tyler, the governing body or the guys who write this the writing uh, department or committee, whatever it's called, uh, they didn't direct. They didn't say that pedophilia was okay. Well, yeah, I get it. They didn't say pedophilia was wrong either. In fact, they made a comment here about mothers and fathers doing this to their children just to keep them quiet. And the 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 word, the word that I am, uh, that I'm stumbled on here is unwittingly. So it's like it's normalized. Pedophilia is normalized in the organization just by this very sentence. Why, whether it be directly or indirectly, it's normalized, and it seems, it seems j just by the uh, the writers of this stating this word unwittingly, it, it gives the parents the um, benefit of the doubt on this. It doesn't condemn them. It doesn't do any of that. This promotes pedophilia. I, it, it, I, I think so. I've been thinking about this for a few days. Oh yeah, and I also know that some Jehovah's Witnesses may say, "Hey, you're just putting words. You're putting words in their mouths. You can't do that." Oh yeah. Well, let me uh, let me um bring something up here. The uh uh. Actually, I'm going to show it to you, okay? Okay. <clears throat> In JW.org, if you search up apostates, you'll eventually come across this. Living as Christians, protect yourself from apostasy. I'm going to read this. Satan and those under his influence often mix lies with truth in attempt to undermine our faith. For example, the Assyrians used half-truths and lies, outright lies, to discourage Jehovah's people. Apostates use similar tactics today. How should we react to apostate teachings? Treat them as the poison that they are. <clears throat> Never read them, reply to them, or repeat them. Be quick to detect information that is designed to raise doubts about Jehovah and his organization and reject it. So here it says that apostates... Uh, mix lies with tr uh, with truths in an attempt to undermine faith. Well, uh, yeah, uh, me putting the words in the governing body's mouths about uh, this article here, uh, this disgusting article, break free from self abuse. How or why and how? Yeah, I, I I may have put words in their mouths, I guess, but it's clear as day. It's clear as day. They they support pedophilia. In the uh, organization, and the governing body puts words in the apostate mouth or the apostates' mouths by saying that um, those under Satan's influence, apostates, often mix lies with truths in an attempt to undermine faith. Well, the issue I'm having with the apostates is that all the lies, the lies that they are promoting about Watchtower, all come from their publications. <clears throat> 
all of it does. All of it does. Like that apostate deconstructing Jehovah's Witnesses. Um, I made a video about this. Watchtower 1973, September 15th. It's all right here. This this is apostate. This is apostate. This is disgusting. This it makes me so angry. I can't believe. I'm glad I saw this. I cannot believe that I was a part. I'm not even going to call it the organization. I can't believe I was part of this the cult of Jehovah's Witnesses. The the cult that damages families and uh it, it tears apart families, causes people to kill themselves either by suicide or rejection of life-saving medical treatment, which is basically suicide. That they promote this. They promote death of their members. They 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 ruin the lives of children, innocent children. That I know there have been cases of murder and rape and just all sorts of things in the Watchtower Society. And it's a secret society. They don't want any of this stuff getting out because it brings reproach on Jehovah's name. And I will say, the only thing that I feel like is bringing reproach on Jehovah's name is the fact that they are not doing anything about the, the uh, this, the pedophilia, the, all the crimes that are happening. They're keeping it away from public eyes. They're, they're not allowing themselves to be exposed. If they actually brought this stuff to light and did something about it I'd, and changed changed their teachings to align with the Bible, I'd go back 100%. But this right here, no, I will never, I will never <laughs> bring my children into a kingdom hall. I can't do it. Mothers and fathers who do this to their children, who stroke the genitals of their fretful babies to keep them quiet, are unwillingly, unwittingly, they don't know this. They are wittingly encouraging them to become, I'm not going to say this, I'm going to say self-abusers. That's what they say it is, self-abusers later on. Disgusting. Remember, mothers and fathers, this is your fault that your child has become like this because you did this disgusting thing on them. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. It's, it's a, it, apparently to this watchtower, it, it's normal. It, 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 it's a normal thing. I, I, this has been stuck in my, my, my mind, like I said, for a few days, and I just, I can't, I, I just, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. <sighs> Watchtower, you are absolutely disgusting. It's, I, I honestly hope that this gets shown to the courts. Uh, of Norway. I mean, like, the Watchtower is experiencing a lot of legal battles, but this here, this showed the, just show Norway this. I mean, show, show the United States this. I mean, geez. I want, I want Watchtower to be defunded here. They, <clears throat> and I'll be honest with you, it really angers me that the governing body have the nerve to make videos on their website begging their members for money, even though they get funding from multiple governments, millions of dollars each year, millions of dollars each year. They buy, they, they have their, um, their congregants, the regional building committee, build kingdom halls free of charge for them. All they really do is pay for the resources, but they don't pay for any of the labor. And then what they do is they sell them, and the kingdom halls, the kingdom halls become I they become churches, recreational centers, they become all sorts of things. The watchtower is a business. I mean, and I'm pretty sure in the Watchtower, Watchtower and Bible Track Society, their their name itself, at the end of it, I'm I'm pretty sure it's either Incorporated INC or Corporation C O R P. Either one's a business. But Watchtower, 
is a business. It really is. When I went to my mom and I, I was asking her one day, it was after I was reinstated and I, I found out that um, Watchtower back in 2013, I think it was, they had, um, they had merged kingdom halls. They had merged congregations together into kingdom halls, causing people to drive further distances, even people that didn't have the means to do it. And Watchtower basically told them, you have to do this. There is no if, ands, or buts. So they did this. And then the, the, the kingdom halls that were basically vacated, they sold for profit. They made profit off of this and then lied to their members saying that there were going to be a surplus of kingdom halls because the, the, um, the, organi the organization was growing at a massive rate. But I don't, I don't think the organization is growing at all. I'm pretty, I'm, I'm pretty sure um, based on the videos that I have seen, and uh, the comments that I even get on my videos what, from Jehovah's Witnesses or ex-Jehovah's Witnesses, there are a lot of people that watch videos about Jehovah's Witnesses, the apostate videos. There are, are a lot of Jehovah's Witnesses that, that watch these videos. And it would not surprise me that there are far more Jehovah's Witnesses leaving the Watchtower and Bible Tract Society than joining. There are people leaving it, far more people leaving it, than there are people joining that's my conclusion. And the governing body know this. And they're trying to squeeze every last dime out of their members that they can. There's a video that I've seen, I believe it was during a convention about um, a refugee camp. And um, they had a donation box up there. <laughs> the, the people that had nothing, that were running for their lives, were still expected to donate. I'll have to do a video on that, but... um. Yeah, anyways, guys, <laughs> that's my thoughts on all this. I just wanted to know what you guys think. Now, let me know. I'm sorry this video is kind of raw, uh, really uncut in a way. But, hey, it's early in the morning here. The little ones are asleep. The wife's asleep. I wanted to make this quick. Just, I wasn't sure. There, I wasn't sure how to present this video. But there are so many things, so many topics I could discuss and it's really hard choosing one. I've, I haven't been posting videos in a long time. I've been really busy with life and the kids and everything. And just work, trying to um, prioritize, uh, prioritize things. And uh, I'm going to try to get back into it. But this one, I felt like it was deserving. You guys deserve to see this for yourselves. Make it, Make use of it or take it how you will. But I'm going to say again, this is the Watchtower from 1973, Se uh, September 15th, under Breaking Free of Self-Abuse, Why and How, and under the, the subheading Prevention and Cure, it says this. I'm going to read this one last time for you guys, and I'm going to leave it here. All right, I'm going to do it. I'm going I'm to try to read this uh, the way an elder would read it. Uh, read it. So here we go. Ugh. If one understands the cause, it is easier to implement the prevention and cure of a bad habit. Did you know, for example, that mothers and fathers who uh, stroke the genitals of their fretful babies to keep them quiet are unwittingly encouraging them to become masturbators later on? Boys and girls may start to play with their private parts during puberty and, not receiving any counsel against this, the first thing they know, they are hooked on the habit. And if some know nothing about such self-abuse before entering high school, the chances are they will learn of it from either fellow students or the teachers themselves. I'm going to read the second paragraph because I just, I just glanced down at it. Here we go. Investigations indicate that a high percentage of masturbation is not due so much from a buildup of erotic pressure as from the same kinds of tension and anxiety that cause insomnia. 
youths, and many other people, many older people who are tense with emotional difficulties, resort to masturbation as an escape route from their physical and emotional discomforts. A sort of pacifier. Gross. This is disgusting. A pacifier. Nasty, bro. This is disgusting. A pacifier? Oh, a pacifier. Fretful babies. Parents? Uh, oh, Jesus. All right, back in character. <clears throat> a sort of pacifier or, tr or tranquilizer, they think, to take their minds off their worries. So, too, persons suffering from boredom, unemployed persons, and prisoners, especially if they have been on drugs, often masturbate. This... This is disgusting. <sighs> yeah. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave this video here. Uh, I I I'll probably go through this entire. I may I don't know if I want to go through this entire article here, but uh, yeah, I really did it. Okay, I enjoy making these videos, but I did not enjoy that disgusting article. Like I said, but uh, yeah. Anyways, I hope everybody has a good day. May may um, God bless you all. Uh, but uh, stay away from Watchtower, please. Stay away from it. I'm going to try to go back Sunday. My sister gave me a um, phone number to an elder. Talk to an elder about getting a password for the Zoom meeting. So I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna talk to him about it. But um, other than that, hey, Coleman family, say have a good one, guys. Thank you.